In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create two stages circular infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, there are two stages, stage A and stage B, and the process starts here. Then it has the stage that is A1. You can add your title and the detailed text. Then it goes to the A2, A3, and then from this one, it pass on to the stage B. This is B1, B2, B3, and the process ends here. And I have one more slide where I've just made it somewhat broader. You can see here somewhat thick lines here. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now as well as share and like my channel, PowerPoint University. And if you'd like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to select the circle hollow. Just click it here and make the height and width as 2.8. You can see here, then make sure to do the center align and middle. And here the width is very wide, so I'm just going to reduce it depending on your requirement. Maybe I can select maybe this, even if you can want less, less also can be done. But let me just take maybe this much shape outline, make it no outline. Now you can see here there are four parts, one, two, three, four, if you see here. So now this one part only I'm going to cut for that. Go to insert shapes, select the rectangle and draw the rectangle only on one part and then select the oval shape or the hollow circle and hold the shift key and select the rectangle under format merge shape and remember merge shape is available only in the latest version of powerpoint in 2007 it is not there and 2010 you need to enable it and even fragment is missing there so let me just remove the subtract you can see here i've just removed the i just click on the subtract so this particular part has been removed so press ctrl d just i'm keeping this for my later use let it be like that now i'm going to cut from this again so for that go to insert shape select the rectangle draw the small rectangle maybe this much size shape outline i'll make it no outline some different color so you exactly know what exactly i'm trying to do i'm just going to add one here press ctrl d rotate and i'm just going to make it flip uh, the rotate right and then just select add one more here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to split into three parts so this is one part two part and three part for that select the this shape circle hold the shift key and select the these two rectangles again under format merge shape just click on fragment you can see here this is one this is one and this is one so i'm just going to select this and delete and select this and delete so i've got three parts here you can see here something like this so here you've got this uh, three so i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate again this i'm going to use it uh, for the later purpose and then i'm going to give some different colors or first let me just select all these three press ctrl g to group it and move it up you can see here i can move this something like this and press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm just going to format rotate you can see here different ways i can rotate for example if i rotate left or right whatever for example let me just click rotate left 90 degrees and then i'm just going to do something like this and i'm going to attach it here you can see here Again, just give a little gap. Let me just zoom in. You can see here something like this. I'm going to put it. A little gap is there here. All right. Now I'm going to select this one. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. Bring it here. Again, go to Format, Rotate. You can see here there are different ways I can rotate it again rotate left 90 degrees okay and then flip horizontal so you end up getting like this again if you want you can attach it directly or you can give space I'm not going to give any space here so let me just attach something like this and make sure that it is properly aligned and again this one 
I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to bring it here again rotate you can see here I can just do left right depending on my requirement and again I'm just going to vertical it and then just add it here and again make sure that it is properly aligned so once this is done go to insert shapes and I'm going to select the rectangle and I'm going to attach this one here all right so let me just make sure that there's no outline and then increase the size again to increase the precise size you need to hold the alt key okay so you can see here this is perfect size i believe and then is it perfect or not perfect looks like perfect okay then press ctrl d to duplicate it and now i don't need this one i can just simply delete this not a problem and then i'm just going to add it here let me just reduce a little bit hold the alt key again still i need to do it even small not a problem but make sure that it is perfectly so here also a little bit i need to reduce it from the top i think this is perfect now let me just remove these guides and still i feel there's some problem with this but i don't see when i'm increasing the size so but you have to just make sure that it is perfectly all right so let me just do a slide show yeah so this is perfect not a problem now once this is done we have got uh, some different colors to be given all right so you can just select one by one for example either you can ungroup it or let it be grouped i'm going to select this go to format shape fill i can start with the color maybe red then i'm going to give a maybe kind of this color green color or whichever color you feel better depending on your requirement you can just choose one by one so maybe i'm going to select this color here and again maybe i'm going to select this color and here i'm going to select maybe pink and here i'm going to select this color this and the same thing for this also the same color all right so you can see here we end up getting a shape something like this and if you want you can add two more circles here go to insert shapes select the oval shape hold the shift key you can see here shape outline make the same color shape fill make it no fill and shape outline if you want you can increase it but let it be like that so i'm just going to make it maybe 2.7 let's put 2.7 and let's see here 2.7 is very big let me just make it 2.6 maybe still i feel or you can hold the shift key and reduce the size like this you can see here still i can reduce the size so that it should be visible inside yeah i think this is perfect 2.35 is perfect press ctrl d and add one more here also and make sure that it is properly aligned now let's add the the some text here for example this is a uh, stage a i'm saying again choose some good font i'm going to choose century gothic make it bold center align and i'm going to give the same color here so this is my stage a and press ctrl d this is my stage b and then this is stage a1 a2 a3 this is b1 b2 and b3 for that go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw a small oval shape by holding the shift key you can see here and shape outline i'm going to give the same red color and weight increase it maybe four or you can just select six point also shape fill make it white all right and this one will be a1 a1 
center align give the same color or you want you can give uh, the red color also depending on your requirement maybe i can give red color increase the size and put it here you can see here a1 and then select both this press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it and then i'm going to put as a2 here ctrl d this will be a3 and here again this will be like example b1 this is b2 and this is b3 so i'm just going to change it to 2 this is 3 this is 2 and this is 3 now depending on the color of this one you need to just change the color so again i can just select this one again go to format and shape fill now you can see here i can just select this and change the color again go to home text and select the same color like this you need to change for the rest of the options so you can see here i've just changed all the colors and then go to insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle and just add one rounded corner rectangle here and put it exactly in the center shape outline give the same color and shape weight again give six points and shape fill make it white press ctrl d to duplicate this and add it here exactly in the center and then go to insert or i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and this one i'll just say starts here this one would be a green color press ctrl d to duplicate and this is ends here and this would be red color so you can see here so something like this you can do and the last thing is you can just give the text so you can add your title title again i'm going to give red color depending on this one again change the font of your choice make it bold if you want reduce the size and go to insert text box add your detail text here again same font i'm going to select reduce the size maybe right align this also i'm going to do a right align and make sure that it is properly aligned group together ctrl g ctrl d to duplicate and then just add one by one option like this and make sure to do the align either left align or right align depending on your requirement so the design is complete the only thing which we have uh, still to add the arrowhead for that go to insert sorry go to insert shapes and from the block arrows i'm going to select this arrow chevron draw a small arrow depending on your requirement you can see here either you can increase the width or height so something like this you can make it shape outline make it no outline and shape fill whichever the color which you're going to add that i'm going to put it here so it looks something like this can you see here press ctrl d bring it down just rotate it with the help of this arrow and put this one here and change the color to this color again press ctrl d add it here again change the color to orange ctrl d sorry ctrl z to undo select this and this one will be purple again ctrl d you can see here so one by one you need to just do it add it and change the color according to the color of the circle and this would be pink here
you can see here it looks something like this and you can add one more arrow here also control d to duplicate again let me just zoom in so this would be this color so with this our design is complete you can see here if you want you can add one more option also if required but it will be more complicated so this is the two stage uh, process uh, flow